Hey gang, team here at Core Electronics, and today we're installing Python packages. So, you want Python to do something very functional, but you don't feel like writing heaps of code to achieve that functionality. Then, look no further. This guide will teach you exactly how to do that by utilizing Python packages. Python packages are collections of handwritten scripts that will increase the capabilities of the programming language exponentially. Simply, the package is a collection of Python modules, and a module is a single Python file. Python packages can be found online, with the official distribution repository being Python Package Index, also known as PyPy. This is open to all Python developers to consume and distribute their packages, and this is an excellent repository of packages for the programming language, because there's over a quarter of a million unique packages available to download. There is so much variety, depth, and choice available made from real people happily sharing their script creations and code masterpieces. Each and every one will improve the potential of Python and all you need to do is to install the right one for you. Here's the website, PyPy. This website is also a great way to discover new packages utilizing its filter search capabilities and easily install them using the package manager installed by default to Python called pip. Now pip is the standard package management system used to install and manage packages written in Python. More on that real soon. Now, there's another good place to find Python packages, and this is the Anaconda repository. Anaconda is a free and open source distribution of Python programming language, but with different built-in modules. It's slanted more towards a data science and large-scale data processing, machine learning kind of applications. Anaconda also uses a different package manager called Conda, which we can talk about in another tutorial. Now, before we dive into the requirements, there is an important fact to remember and realize, which will save a lot of time. The command prompt and the Python command line shell look really, really, really similar. Just check out the computer to see just this. Beneath is the command prompt. This is one of the command line interface programs used to execute commands in Windows operating systems. On the other hand, above, this is the Python command line shell, which can also be referred to as the Python shell. And this allows users to directly interact the Python programming language. Now, even though they look really similar, it's important to realize that they are actually very different and to use the correct one for the particular task. So let me be very clear. For all of this tutorial, the command prompt and only the command prompt will be used to install Python packages. Now, to access command prompt on the Windows computer, press the Windows key and then type command prompt and it will appear right there. Click on it. Just like that, you would have opened up command prompt. Now that that's all cleared up, let's make sure you have Python on your computer and that it's the expected version you want to see. So what you can do is type directly into command prompt the following, Python dash dash version. Doing this will give you a result similar to what I have, Python 3.8.5. So that's the version of Python that I'm using. Now, you want to make sure that this can happen and this can be outputted. If you run this line in the Python command line shell, you'll get a traceback error. Or, if you don't have Python installed, you'll also get an error. Downloading the Python programming language can be done from the official website. Now we're going to test for pip from the command prompt. If you've installed Python from the official site, then pip will already be installed. Pip is a tool that installs packages directly into Python, utilizing the command prompt, and only a single typed line. It's really good practice to make sure pip is available in your system, and you can check this by typing directly into the command prompt the following, pip dash dash version. As you can see, currently I have pip 20.1.1 version. Now if pip isn't already installed, then this will cause an error to appear. There's a way to install it from the command prompt, which I'll show you right now. What you do is you type python dash m ensure pip dash dash default dash pip as i've already installed pip it says that the requirement is already satisfied i'll stretch this out a little bit further so you can see exactly the syntax of what i have written and scrolling down more extreme troubleshooting can be found on our online write-up 
at the Core Electronics website. Next, we're going to ensure that all the installing mechanisms are up to date. PIP is good enough by itself to install the majority of Python packages. However, up to date copies of the setup tool and the wheel projects are useful to ensure you can also install from older source archives. So to update all of these, just type into the command prompt the following. Python space dash m space pip space install with two L's space dash dash upgrade space pip space setup tools space wheel. If I zoom out a little bit like this, you can follow what's going on a little bit better. This is it downloading the updated pip. It's coming all the way down. It's collected all the information, it's attempted to uninstall pip, found the, found the existing installation, and then reinstalled it, found the tools, reinstalled the tools, and done the same for the wheels. And with that, there is all the setting up done. So let's crack on in and download some exciting Python packages from the Python package index. So let's start with PyBrot. This is a Python package that lets you use and create images of the Mandelbrot set. The Mandelbrot set is an interesting way of seeing how complex functions behave under repeated iterations. So let's jump back into the command prompt and type very simply pip install hybrot. By doing that, and it's gone through, it's installed that package, just like that, less than a minute, real quick, real easy, single line. Now that this is done, I'll install numpy package from the Python package index. This package brings great mathematical prowess to the programming language, enabling it to do calculations such as the Fourier transform. The Fourier transform decomposes a function into its constitute frequencies, such as the expression of a musical chord in terms of the volume and frequencies of its constitute notes. This will be another really easy install. You just type and enter pip install numpy. Just like that, it's been installed. Finally, we're going to install one last package called matplotlib, also from the PyPy website. Matplotlib is a comprehensive library for creating static, animated, and interactive visualizations in Python. This will be another easy install, and it will take less than a minute. Let me demonstrate to you now. pip install matplotlib. As you can see, another easy install, which took less than a minute. This shows the advantages of installing using the pip method as it makes installing Python packages an absolute breeze. Now, if you're wondering where these packages end up after they're downloaded, they end up in a site packages folder deep inside the Python folders. The image on our online write-up shows exactly where the PyBrot installation has placed these new files. So let me show off some of this new functionality that we now have Red Hot ready and raring to go. These packages in combination with Python means you can now produce intricate Mandelbrot images from just three lines of code. Let me show you how easy it is. Jumping into the Python programming window, I'm going to type from pybrot.mandelbrot import Mandelbrot. Now I've talked about these keywords before in a previous tutorial. Now if I run this, you'll see that it's running in the background of the Python idle shell. So now what I'm going to do is type m equals Mandelbrot bracket bracket followed by m dot show. Doing this letting it think for a little bit, gives this new pop-up window. And this new pop-up window over here is the Mandelbrot set. So from this quick demonstration, you can now see there's no longer any need to type a whole bunch of complex lines of code to get 
really interesting outputs. Now let me show you how to install a no longer desired Python package. Simply by typing a single line, what we're gonna type is pip uninstall, in this case we'll uninstall pybrop. Say, yes, I'd like to remove it. Just like that, you've uninstalled it. Now, if you're using Linux or Mac systems, check out our online guide for more details. I hope this has inspired some coding escapades, and until next time, stay cozy.